What's up guys, Zanko Spangin here, and today we are playing as your favorite champion to watch because I know every single time I upload it, you guys are like, oh my god, again? And it is Lucian! Because I am doing my provisional ranked games on Ankle Spanking, I decided I would play, well actually it wasn't really up to me because I did trade the first guy because he like instilled a lot to Lucian and I was like, oh man, I want a day to carry, and he was like, hey man, you can get me another champion and I'll I'll swap or I'll swap with you. So, luckily for me it was Lucian. Anyways, going into this game, I do believe I am currently 3 and 2 in my provisionals. So nothing nothing too great, but nothing it's also not horrible either. So, we'll see how this game goes. And as always, these are, you know, like mm, most of the players I've been playing with are Diamond last season, so, like, anywhere between Plat 1 and Diamond 1 is where I've been playing. Um, and if you guys do know anything about me, you would know that Lucian is probably my most comfortable champion up there with uh, Fizz, Cassidy, and those people. And easily one of my top favorite champions to play. Um, and also another fun fact about me is... I love mid and AD carry. I'm definitely better at AD carry, but mid and AD carry. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, looking at the teams real fast, we do have Pantheon top versus Anar, and then we will be having a... Oh, oh, I was going to laugh really hard if the pool stole it. But we will be having a Lux mid versus LeBlanc. Uh, junglers will be Lee Sin versus Vi. And then the bot lane will be Graves, Sona versus Morgana and Lucian. So let's go ahead and exchange a little poke right there with her. And I should have won that trade a little bit, but it's not really going to matter because it is... Uh, whoops, I totally just backed off way too far for that. So the combined poke ended up being decently good there. The only problem with trying to trade so much with this lane, or this lane early is that the fact that it's a freaking Sona, so she will be healing him up like a madman. So let's go ahead and get that little damage off there. We are level 2 now, so the snare will not be hitting, but we will definitely have that little experience advantage there. So I have missed two of the, or the first 12 CS. Bit of a shame, and there's Sona's heal coming out right now. But, let's see, how's Graves looking? He is going to be, what, is he one ahead of me, I think? I don't know. Either way, whoops, I'm going to totally miss that one because I misclicked it. Rip. And, whoa, did not get in range there for the auto attack. Tis a shame, didn't get to use my passive. Let's make sure I get this siege here. And, hi yeah, Alright, got the siege. Let's go ahead and get this one. Graves is still very low. And it looks like Sona's trying not to use too much of her mana to heal him, which is good for us, because, you know, then he doesn't have a lot of HP. But I also need to be careful not to use too much of my mana, uh, just trying to poke him or trade with him with my piercing lights. So that was a bad piercing light, actually, right there. Um, but the more I can keep him under tower, I might be able to make him miss some of the CS. So, lucky for him, Sona's decently good at that. Uh, helping him see us on the tower. And we have established a 3 CS lead just uh, kind of from chilling there. And let's go ahead and boop. That'll get a little poke off on him nailing with that piercing light. And one thing that a lot of people should remember about CSing with Lucian is that you don't... Oh, whoa! That's going to be a big snare coming out from Morgana. And let's back off there before we lose the trade, actually. So gain a lot of damage off on the Sona right there. Let's go ahead and get a little poke off on Graves. And he stepped into the shield, so I'm not even going to bother trying to follow up with that little poke. And obviously, since a long time ago, they put the mana cost back onto Lucian's Relentless Pursuit, which is his E, his dash. Um, I'm trying not to use it too much, because at level 1, it is 75 mana. Or, no, wait, no, it's not. It's 40. There's still a lot of mana that I don't want to use right now, uh, which I would rather just straight up use on attacking them. So, that does mean Relentless Pursuit goes down by uh, 10 mana every every level up on it. I don't know why I thought it was 75. And I, I really don't know. Um, but that's okay. Anyways, 
Just going to keep up the CS in here. We are at 37 so far, and we do have quite a lot of our HP. They are sustaining back up slowly, but surely. But as long as we can... Whoa, that's going to be some more damage going off on Desona there. Let's go ahead and trade with these guys a little bit. I'm going to dash out so I don't lose this too badly and get back to auto-attacking a lot. So, Sona has no mana. Graves does have a bit of mana, but he does have low HP. And we don't have any wards against a Vi jungle. It looks like it won't matter, though, because she's top lane. Um, and the first blood going down onto our Pantheon. So that kind of stinks, but since I have no mana right now, we're not going to worry about trying to do much here. We have established a decent CS lead over this Graves just by naturally laning against them. Uh, 44 to 36 at the moment, 37, so we do have what like a seven lead on him if we're accounting this entire wave assuming we both get the entire wave and as you guys can see just from constantly auto attacking I have managed to get my um, HP decently far back up and this next wave will be able to get my BF sword so 50 CS is six and a half minutes we're doing decently well there uh, will he miss it ha ah, he will miss his siege minion sucks for him but let's see so it's going to push this wave out and then probably go back. Because um, if I can really... Whoa! Let's just miss both of those. Whoa! That's going to be a lot of damage going off on her. There's the exhaust. I'm going to dash out here. Because if I'm going to get exhausted, I don't really feel like staying for more damage going off on me. Especially when I don't have mana to be trading. So, going to keep picking up the minions here. And after this wave, I will be going back cuz I do have the money in hand to buy my BF sword so after after I clear just these last minions alright so I'll get that one tell him to be 1800 G so Graves will be able to get his BF sword as well but I do have 13 CS up on him at this current second just from uh, essentially outlaning him but let's go ahead and grab, uh, yeah, we'll do two health, health potions and a mana potion along with my BF sword. So we'll just w start walking back to lane here. They are doing the right thing of pushing as hard as they can. Um, oh shit, my wave's not going to get there in time. So they did push it fast enough to the point where I'm going to miss this wave. I should still be ahead of Graves on CS, and I will be, so that's good. But he did almost catch up from that good push, so he may actually be... A little bit ahead of me in experience too but all right so I'm gonna miss that one let's see I should be pretty good to get all of these ones all right so ooh, LeBlanc picking up a kill on Lux there and it's looking like there is still a fight going down mid with Lee Sin and LeBlanc fighting the Vi but that will be a one for nothing so good job to my team picking up a kill off on Lux there and the thing with Lux is an AD carry is, um, you gotta still be careful of, you know, anything she does, cause it's Lux. Like, oh, that's going to be a lot of damage going off on her. Where'd the flash go? That'll be, whoa, tons of damage going off there. I'm gonna go ahead, ooh, ooh, that crescendo. I'd, whoa, okay, oh, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the kill coming out. A good Soul Shackle, or not good, but a great Soul Shackle is coming out from Morgana there. And that was, I believe that was Graves' Flash as well. So, that was great for us. Fantastic bindings from this Morgana. And this is, oh, she is so dead. Alright, so the <laughs> Lux Ultimate coming out, and all of her abilities are going to miss. So, the Lux Roam will be absolutely worthless. And I'm just going to push this wave out uh, even harder. So this bot lane is as good as one right now. Because of that huge exchange, picking up a kill for both of us on the enemies. This is looking good for us. Anvil Blanc came down, totally missed everything on her. So great for us. And let's go ahead and pick up... Um... Yeah, I want to do this build, um, because I don't really feel, 
super comfortable doing the brutalizer build <clears throat> like it's good but I'm way more used to the standard build now so I'm gonna try and enforce that so Graves has just a brutalizer where I have BF pickaxe and double Dorns now so we are very strong or very much stronger than he is did Graves flash earlier or just dash into me yeah he did flash okay so that is great for us so I still do have my flash and that will be really good so just pushing out this wave we're gonna go ahead and rotate our way on up here see if we can grab this dragon maybe or Vi walking over there right now this could be oh Vi is low let's go ahead and see if we can just do this because I think this would be a just fine and dandy time to do it nothing really stopping us Vi is too low to really do much so looks like she's just gonna be over there LeBlanc actually picking up a lot of pain in there so let's see maybe alright this will be the re oh the culling coming out will not get much because she uh, did dash out of it but Pantheon picking up a solo kill onto the Gnar up top there so a great oh Pantheon wasn't even the one that died earlier in that gank it was Lee Sin that died okay well shit I need to get down back to bottom so before we lose our tower ooh it's looking like we do have the gank squad coming down here and they are not going to be pushing this tower. They will be backing off here. Will Morgana get the binding? She will not. All right, the soul shackles. There it is. She's flashing into the middle of them. And whoa, that crescendo. Oh, Lord. All right, well, that ain't going to matter. The chilling smite coming in here. There's the kick. There's going to be one kill. I'm going to go at... Oh, he had it. So I was going to dash in there and get that kill. Whoa, the... Whoa. Assault and Battery along with the Lux Ultimate, the Finale's Funk Clone, or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, no, wait, is it just called Final Spark now? Final Spark, I don't know. Regardless, Lux, ult Lux Ultimate, the big-ass laser, and that will be a lot of goodness coming out there for my team once again. Let's go ahead and just grab this, or this tower as well, 2 0 oh, one with um, a decent amount of CS as well. 99 at 12 minutes. We do have a good lead on Graves right now. So, we... Whoa, what the heck? Okay, I'm going to have to ask you to back off there, man. Um, if I had mana, I would have been able to fight him. But since I have no mana, I'm not even going <laughs> to... Not even going to bother trying. So, took the tower. Um... Actually, I need to stay bottom, because if I leave right now, they're going to be taking this tower, I think. So, I'm just going to stay down here for a little while. I don't think they'll be able to kill me, um, so I'm not really feeling in danger or anything right now. But with Morgana top and Lee Sin and Pantheon, that could be good. Ow. Okay. 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 I see you. So, I'm going to need to call this wave for sure. Like 100%. So here comes the calling right here. This will kind of make it a bit safer for me to stand a bit closer. But, alright, as long as I can attract some attention to them. Or attract some attention to myself. Alright, there's LeBlanc coming in. The Flash already coming out. Morgana coming back in. The Mimic Distortion. Oh, that will be cashing up on him. There's one kill. The Soul Shackles will stun up this Lux and... Or not Lux, but the Sona. So she is... Well, not going to be having a good day after that. So thank you, team, for coming down or back down to assist me. Looking like Morgana is on the hunt for this booty. Here she goes. Never mind. She's just going to ward up, and that'll be the end of that. So with that said, I will go back and grab my full Infinity Edge, and we will grab boots and... I'm actually going to grab Brawler's Gloves, even though the dagger is probably better, but I do just want one potion to hold. So I'm actually going to charge up top lane right now. <clears throat> it may seem kind of odd that I'm doing this, but I do want to stop Gnar from um, pushing too hard. So I'm going to rush my little patootie up here and try and make sure that he doesn't take this tower. He's about to go Mega Gnar, and if I can get there, okay, I'm going to get there in time. So he's not going to be able to take this tower. Looks like we got Morgana coming up here as well. I'm going to go ahead and dash in, make sure I get those. The Wallop is going to hit me. But I ain't give a hoot, son. So, 
Let's just get this CS. We did definitely stop him from taking the tower, so that's good. Let's go ahead and just uh, auto him some more here. And, oh, it's looking like, uh, oh, that snare. Here it goes. This Morgana is on a fucking beast rampage. You're a beast. These snares in this game. Holy shit. <laughs> right? What a great reaction. So, fantastically done by my Morgana here. And let's, uh, I don't usually play this well. Well, I'm glad you chose this game to do it, my friend. Because this is a good one to be looking good in. So, ooh, there's the ward that I was about to go set down. And there comes the vibe of Vi has them. Oh my god, that binding again. And the light binding will not be landing. So there's Nars Teleport coming out. We did almost get that entire tower down. So, <laughs> this Morgana is getting proud of herself, and as she should be. So let's go ahead and run down towards the bit here. It looks like Lee Sin, well, slightly questionable. Um, but he is doing big things. So there is the Lucent Singularity, or Lux's E, coming out. Will... Be, whoa, let's not get hit by that. And boop, get that siege minion. So Vi not going to follow up on her assault breaker. Or no, vault breaker there. It's assault and battery and then vault breaker. Her Q and then her R. So there's LeBlanc doing a lot of damage. Holy butts. And that will be Nar getting the hell out of there for sure. So let's go ahead and just dash out of here. Take this tower. And that will be the end of that. So the Morgana binding just... Whoa, that boulder just ripped three of them. So we should rotate right down to Dragon right now. Because five seconds till it spawns. And we can go snag this for free, uncontested. Nope. He does not have a teleport. He used it to get back top lane. So this dragon is as good as ours. Going to be the second dragon of the game going over to us. So far we are... 4-0 and 2 in this wonderful game of League of Legends as well. And it's looking like, oh, shoot. So, maybe, oh my god, how do you get a binding over here? What the heck? All right, there's Pantheon with the flash. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I thought I was going to help by dropping the colon. Um, but apparently it was very unnecessary. So let's go ahead and knock it. Oh my god, another snare. I get... I guess Graves just doesn't like his Gnar, because he just buckshotted him. But, you know, that's none of my business. So I'm just going to... Ooh, that crit. Ooh. All right, Pantheon recall in here. Can I get my... No, there's no way I can get the full fan dancer, but I can get close to it. So, I'm going to go get the Zeal and the uh, Cloak of Agility. So that'll be a lot more crit. God, what the fuck is happening to my insides? I'm like lurching. Alright, that was terrifying. Alright, anyways, we do have two of the three components for Fam Dancer now. And after we finish the Fam Dancer, it will be a very good item. Of course, the Infinity Edge Shiv build is also very good on Lucian, but I don't know if it's better now after they changed Phantom Dancer and Infinity Edge. Because Infinity Edge lost 5% crit chance while... Whoa! It's looking like a big crescendo coming out here with the Lux Ultimate and a huge Soul Shackles indeed right there. So, looking like LeBlanc and I are going to be coming in here... Oh, shit. Oh, that's not going to matter. So, whoop, that didn't hit me. But the Mimic Distortion right there. And let's just see this looking like this... Could be good. Whoa, dropping the heal. Let's go ahead and just boop. There's going to be one kill. Keeping the safe. Oh, God. She flashed, and that will be my first death of this game. Damn it. So there's the snare. Will be a kill for Morgana. Picking it up on Nar. And, oh, maybe. Whoa, what'd she go back there for? And that will be. Oh, he's coming in now. So here comes little porno and. Oh, little. Little Palmo. Little, we'll call him Little Porno. Little Porno, the Pantheon, is coming back in here. And let's see. So 970G away from that. Not going to be selling anything for that 70 gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up my Berserker's Greaves here. And we will go for some minions. Ooh, red buff. 
Hello, Red Boof. Are you? Ooh, hello, Mid Minions. May I take Red Lee? Always, oh, it's just generally polite to ask your jungler if you can take the buffs before you do. Because if for some reason they really want them or they feel like being rude, um, I mean, it's. It kind of sucks when they want to take the minions and you. You know, oh, fuck. And you want them. But, um. See, if they're gonna be this nice, now I have to make great use of it. So if he's gonna tank it that long for me, you bet your ass I'm gonna do good. Whoa, it's looking like LeBlanc just uh, getting a little penisy over there. So <laughs> you're getting penisy, kid. So if you guys understand that reference, that's pretty cool. But if not, well, I'm sorry for you. Anyways, going to be getting these minions down here. Try and shove out this lane a little bit while I do make a bit more money. And that will be the next wave I'm actually just going to cull. So I can get it really quickly and then get out of here. Because I don't want to stay longer now that I have my entire Phantom Dancer. Because if they're coming down towards me, I I don't want none. So I'm going to go get the Phantom Dancer now. Will be a great buy for us. And then next up, of course, will be the Last Whisper. So Phantom Dancer complete, 55% crit chance with the ability to run through minions now with that unit collision and uh, more attack speed and movement speed and all that good stuff so I think I actually just listed everything yeah I listed everything so with the fame dance to complete very good item as I was saying before with the shiv I don't know if it's better or not anymore with how they rearranged it because you do have 15 percent less crit chance when you have a shiv but you get that lightning active that Lucian makes a lot of use out of with how much he moves around and how much he auto attacks so I don't actually know if, you know, if, whoa, damn it, I got hit. That's what I was saying, though. Don't actually know if, um, if Shiv is better or anything. So, we'll find out. So I guess they're all just going away from this tower. If they really want us to have it that badly, if, <laughs> if they really want those two guys that badly, we'll just take the mid turret what the hell okay well I guess we'll just uh, work on taking another mid turret so no Lux ultimate coming out nope so we did get some good damage off on that dragon will be up in 30 seconds we should see if we can take some of their shit while we're over here um, is their blue up it is not I'll just go ahead and take one of the little wolves along with the big one so we will go for this Rift Scuttler here, also known as the Scuttle Crab. And whoa, the Lux Ultimate going to be trying to, what I believe was pick off our Morgana. But she will not find it. So they'll be in position for this dragon where we are not just yet. But if we can stall them until our jungler and team get here. Whoa! Looking like we got some good old damage coming off here. Let's go ahead and just drop the coin and see if we can get a little poke off. And this is going to be, at least we stalled long enough for our teammates to get here. So here comes Lee Sin. It's looking like the damage coming off onto Graves. Lee Sin with the Q will not really matter. I'm trying to stay in the back so I don't get crescendoed or anything of the sorts. Looks like Pantheon will be chilling in the back here, waiting for a big grand skyfall to decimate them. So, let's see. Here it comes, here it comes. Pantheon going in. The distortion mimic. Whoa, wait, the mimic distortion. And let's go ahead and see here. Don't get in the big crescendo. I'm going to be going after Lux here, maybe. Nars coming in from the behind. And, oh, okay. Well, you know what? How about, how about I take Grom? How about I take this Nar's life? So, ooh, the big Nar coming out, and let's go ahead and see if I can get onto her. And I did flash into her face just to make sure that I was not going to be losing anything. So, <laughs> my Gromp aggro was actually totally planned. Calculated. Calculated. There we go. Wait, with a four? Regardless. Regardless, it was all intentional, of course. Um, aggroing the Gromp was just... Oh, fuck! Fuck! I face-banged the wall. Okay, that's okay. But we should be able to get this dragon free of charge. 
So, with uh, with the glorious power of the Lucian AD carry. Hello, Vi. Oh, that's gonna be a binding. She going down. Boosh. So another easy kill. Pick it up. Pick it up. Picked up right there. And that will be. Let's see it. Bam, 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 boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, bam. There we go. A little bit of damage coming out there. Looking like. Uh, this could be a decent amount of damage going off here. So, Nar, whoa, getting kicked back over here will be a kill again. These picks. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm so close. Let's get that ward, because fuck you. And now, I do have the. Whoa! Okay, Graves. I have to ask you to take it easy there. Got my last whisper. Yeah, this Morgana's being a beast. So let's go ahead and go get this last whisper here. We are currently 7 1 and 6 with 209 CS at 26 minutes. Our CS has kind of fallen off, but we are still doing decently well. And, oh, this Graves, the enemy Graves is 1 6 and 2. Don't let Lux get Medjize. Oh, we got this. Because now that I have my last whisper, I'm going to be doing a lot, lot more damage. And they will not enjoy this, as Pantheon would say. So Pantheon picking up a kill over on the graves there. Great job. Let's see if we can get some shit done in mid. Because with the huge lead that we have right now, we can afford to split where... I mean, grouping would probably be the better choice, maybe. Can I have one? Hmm. I want one. But I'm not going to take that one from LeBlanc. That would be a bad choice. I'm going to go get these minions here. Because Graves died. Uh, not Graves, but Pantheon died. And I don't think we should try and fight a uh, disadvantageous battle. So I'm going to be trying to get these instead. So I can split push a little. Because grouping, in my opinion, I think it would be slightly counterproductive at the moment. It could or could not be, but as if I'm applying this much pressure in the bot lane, uh, I can stall them from doing anything to us. So, hello, anyone? Anyone? Someone come stop my push. All right. And another reason I'm being very aggressive right now is because I know that I'm very strong myself. Whoa, that Lux ultimate coming out. Did it tag her? I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and see here. Maybe. Yeah. So, not going to be coming out there. Maybe we can get something of the sorts? Whoa! Laser, what you doing that for, man? I'm going to go ahead and dash out of that, make sure I don't get hit by the uh, the little Lux damage. And what the heck? Hello to you too, man. So, I'm actually going to try a different item this game. Because I feel like it. And with a Vi and a Gnar there... Both of which have a decent amount of HP and will be somewhat tanky. I'm interested in trying this build again. Because it's been a while since I got the Blade of the Ruined King on Lucian. And I would like to give it another shot. So, as you guys have been or have been able to see, I have been CSing again. Uh, trying to get some money. We are at 266 at 29 minutes now. So let's go ahead and drop the call in here. And whoop. So that'll be a decent hunk of damage going off on Graves. And let's see. I, If I'm a god, I can get a double kill here. But am I a god? I'd have to dodge the crescendo. So... Only if I'm a god could I have done that. And let's see. Boop. Get all this. So I do have 2100 gold already. Whoa! The assault and battery from downtown! Coming in there. Let's see it. Let's see. Here I come from the behind. The Lucian flank going to be coming in on this bitch right here. And maybe, whoa, let's not get snared up here. And this will, oh, shoot. All right, well, I tried to pick up a kill onto the Sona. But, well, it was just it was just not destined to happen. So let's go ahead and drop the word over here for a little vision. Get some damage off on these bad boys right here. And let's go ahead and dash out. Boop, boop. So that'll be a lot of damage going off there. Lee Sin will not be going. Whoa, he is going on this kick. And... Oh, whoa! The mimicked distortion. Oh! Four man Luxalt right there. I'm gonna be definitely a little mindful of being in her face right now. 
Because if she punches me, that's going to hurt. Okay, that's going to hurt too. So see you later. I'm going top, boys. So that'll actually be two kills for one. Um, whoa, Pantheon will be going down here as well. Um, hmm. So Pantheon did get caught out a little bit there. But it is okay. Let's go ahead and take these Crimson Raptors here and go get this top farm. I'll be very close to getting my full Blade of the Rune King. I need 3,200 gold, so Blade... Actually, I may be able to get it off of this wave. So let's go ahead and call it just to make sure it goes a little faster. And no, never mind, I can't. So if I go get Gromp and the Scuttle Crab, then I think I'll be able to afford it after I sell one of my Doran's Blades. So I'll go ahead and get this boy right here. So 57G off of that. And then, yep, I will be extraordinarily close after I kill this Gromp. So I will be able to wait getting full Bork. So I will be able to wait just a tiny bit um, on this. So let's sell this bad boy right there. Blade of the Ruined King right here. Completed. One buy. Here I come. It's looking like they're not even trying to interrupt this dragon. So <laughs> that'll be the end of the dragon for our team putting us onto the fourth dragon. Meaning if we don't win sometime during these next six minutes and then manage to get that fifth dragon, well, the game's over anyways. So our red is up now. I'm going to definitely go take a peek at this and grab it because now with my Bork, the more auto attacks I can get off and the better I can kite, the better off we'll be. So we should be in a very good situation, at least since stealing that red. And he's just, well, he's telling little Gnar there that he is not afraid of him. So we do have Pantheon on this other side here. Um, I should, maybe I should have gotten a Mercurial. Whoa! Lots of damage coming out here. Let's go ahead and just get on this guy using that Bork auto attack speed. Let's go ahead and drop the calling right here. That'll be another kill. The double kill coming out for your boy Lucian. Let's go ahead and drop the Bork and drop the W right there. Triple kill. And let's see it. Oh, not going to be getting the quad. But that will be four people coming out there. And that will be the Lucian picking up lots of pain off on them. And the ace coming out still have my heal and let us get this tower now so 10 and 1 now on the Lucian 299 CS at this 33 minute mark we are playing pretty well overall now let's see is she gonna go for me I doubt it she ain't got the balls but if she does have the balls to go for me I will be able to just heal it up so let's go ahead and get this and whoop Let's, whoa, she is going for me. What the heck? All right, dropping my heal. This will be a lot of damage coming out right there. Let's go ahead and just keep auto-attacking her. And, whoa, that was maybe not the best dash in I've had. And, whoop, oh, shit. All right, dodging out on that and will be dying out here. Fuck. So I did get killed by the Graves and or in the end, but still got another kill and dodged a lot of abilities and felt pretty cool. So... Oh, lots of damage there. Let's see what we can do, though. Um, should I just go for more damage? I'm kind of feeling it. I am... Okay, I'm a bit more than kind of feeling it, to be honest. So let's see, where's Graves? I don't know, but she's going to be grabbing that blue. I'm going to be grabbing our blue, because fuck it, man. Now let's go ahead and grab... Um, I'll grab the Fuhrer boots, and then I'll sell this for a BF sword for now. They'll probably end up building into a Mercurial Scimitar. Just to bust out of Sona and Lux snares and stuns. And then Nars, um, Nars ultimate as well. May I have our blue? Because I know LeBlanc just took theirs. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, son. Alright, looks like I will be getting this blue for myself. And, oh, or, or Lee Sin will get it. Never mind. Whoops. Okay, well, Lee Sin can use it all the same. Let's go ahead and grab this Baron, though. Because this will go down so fast that they won't really have any opportunity to even try and steal it from us. So, Lee Sin will... Oh, my goodness! That snare! And, whoa! So much damage coming out here! Let's go ahead and just dash away. Oh, shit! Fuck! Damn it! This is why I need the Mercurial Scimitar. So... 
there goes our full Baron buff. Lee Sin, will he be picking up this kill at least? It's looking like uh, he will. So, LeBlanc getting ahead of herself. Whoa, never mind. Three for three in the end of that. And that is the problem with me um, getting caught out by those two. Because if I get stuck in this situation, nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing that I can do about it. Because Vi has a very straight up point and click um, ultimate, which the reason I haven't bought a Banshees yet is because I trust Morgana to get the black shield off on me before, uh, before Vi gets it off and kills me. But, sadly, Morgana was not with me that fight, so she was unable to get the black shield off on me. So I had to tank the assault and battery to my face, then Nar was right there and just narred me into the wall, and I couldn't do shit. I was fucked. I did use my flash trying to flash over here before they were able to get the, uh, the full Nar off on me. I tried to flash with Vi ulting me. Because I was pretty sure I could kite her out if I uh, got through alive. Whoa, the mimic distortion there. And we should start running up top lane right now because, well, there's really nothing here. And let's go ahead and just walk over here. Ooh, that snare. And let's go ahead and knock it hit up here. Well, I'll just go ahead and take this tower. So the culling coming out right here going to do a lot of damage to them. And let's go ahead and just not get hit by shit here and start taking this third inhibitor. So, looking like there's Gnar, and I don't want to get ulted by the Gnar. So, just stay out of his way, and it's looking like this will be pew pew. Get some more pews off on this guy. With the black shield on me, I am pretty safe. And let's go ahead and just start taking this. So, whoa, she isn't even going for me. What the heck? That is, oh. All right, well, I'll just Bork active him for the heal and kill him. Um. Because I guess he <laughs> guess he wanted to duke it out with me or something. Whoa! Boosh! Wait. Okay, we got the kill. Will be the ace. Will be the end of the game right there. Going, what, like 12-2 and something? I don't know. 11-2. Either way, we did play very well that game. First game of the day is Lucian. If you guys enjoyed this video, wait. The post-game stats. So let's go ahead and take a peek here. And you guys can see my door back on there for a second. So 12-3 and 17. Did very well there. Uh, four and two now under provisionals. Look at that damage we did. Look at that damage. We did over double Graves' damage. That is a lot of pain. So, great job to us. We can go ahead and look at the grid here. As you guys can see, four turrets destroyed from the Lucian. 296 minions slain. The only person that even comes close to rivaling me is um the graves and he was still 40 off there so very well done time spent dead i spent a bit more time dead than some other members of my team but it happens so we did also get to level 18 where our jungler bot and or our jungler support and mid were all lower than 18 and that alone is huge if you guys do split push alone a lot on the um, 80 carries you can establish experience advantages and actually that alone is worth a lot of money itself and it helps you duel people more to have um, an experience or level advantage on them too so go ahead and look at uh, let's see we'll go ahead and look at this for you guys so there's the gold I got the most turrets by far the most inhibitors well I sucked there minion slain again the most and just overall, um, here we can also look at the damage taken as well. I took very little damage actually overall. Um, like compared to everything else, the only people that really took less than me were the mids and the supports, which makes sense. So, good job on that. And let's see, what was my largest crit? Ooh, anyways, with all that in mind, guys, um, I know some of you guys just like watching this, but... As I was saying, with all that in mind, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like very much. Yeah. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or my second channel. All four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!